Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for you watching on the replay. Thank you for watching live. I am so excited. I got something for you. So come on in, come on in, come on in. Hello guys. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. Come on in. I'm giving you a little preview of my office and uh, that's coming very soon. But thank you for coming in. God loves 1995. Hello. Hey Lola, how are you? Stephanie, how are you? Nice to see you. Antonio, how are you? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to see you guys. Come on in. Renee, how are you? Nice to see you. God bless you, my sister. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. God bless you indeed. Hey, Pat, how are you? And as you can see, I'm not using the Dream Team hashtag. Um, and I'll tell you why in a minute, uh, but come on in anyway, invite your followers anyway. Antonio, thank you so much for inviting your followers. I so appreciate that. Thank you so much. Come on in, come on in. I have something to tell you and I hope it's going to help you. I hope it does. Actually, I know that it will. So thank you for coming in. Who is here and from where? Where are you guys coming from? Let me know from where and your first name and I'll give you a shout out, okay? So as you're coming in, invite your followers right away and let me know where you're coming from and what your name is and I will give you a shout out, okay? Hopefully you can see me and hear me, okay? Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Harlan from Boston. How are you? I know who you are. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Who else is here? Who else? I think Stephanie was here. I think Renee was here. Um, Lola was here. Antonio some amazing people so say hello stephanie from boston hey stephanie this is catherine from boston i'll tell you a little bit about who i am um but make sure that you invite your followers because i have something for you i have something for you and uh i love when that stuff happens april from north carolina hello how are you april thank you for being here hi it's 0413 thank you for being here welcome miss la hello <clears throat> As you're coming in, invite your followers. As you're coming in, invite your followers because they're going to want to hear this. Hey, Shortcake37, hello. Thank you for being here. Uh, hello, Miss LA, how are you? Uh, and I don't know how to say that, but um, welcome. Where was it? That person that just came in, thank you. Uh, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're so nice. Hey, Dr. Kimberly, thank you for coming in. Hi, it's 0413. Thank you for inviting your followers. I appreciate that. Hey, Asia from Philly. Nice to see you. How are you? I keep forgetting. I'm going to be better at remembering your name. Hello there. How are you? Invite your followers, guys. Invite your followers and we'll get started. Let me tell you real quick who I am. My name is Catherine Storing. I am your fashion stylist, confidence building coach, and woman of faith. And I am all three at the same time because I don't have to choose. And tonight, we were supposed to have the dream team and um, some things happened and we couldn't do it. <clears throat> like Tasha, we have the T, Asha. Okay, got it. I can say that. Thank you for the help. That's awesome. Thank you. I won't, I won't forget that. Asha, awesome. And um, they couldn't be here tonight, but I'm here and I have prepared something for you. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to share that anyway. Uh, hey, Philip, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, this is going to help a lot of people. Philip, I think you're going to like this. Um, and the name of the scope is, let me just recap real quick, why and how to walk in your purpose now. Now, not tomorrow. Now, hello, Philip. How are you? Invite your followers. Thank you for the hearts. I love the hot pink. That's gonna be my favorite for tonight. I don't know how that who that is, but I love the hot pink uh, heart. Super awesome, and I love the other ones too. <clears throat> and I think that's Philip. Thank you so much for inviting your followers. Uh, I appreciate that. If you just got here. Thank you. We haven't gotten started. I just told you that the dream team is off tonight. Hopefully tomorrow night. I'm not sure. Dr. Uh, Pastor Kim is dealing with some issues. You know that um, Apostle DJ had um, uh, an injury on his leg. So, you know, he's not doing well. But they say they love and they will be back very soon. And Sister Tina as well couldn't be here. But I'm here. <clears throat> Lovely to see you all. Thank you so much. Thank you for the hearts. You know that the only way I can tell that you can see me and hear me is with the heart. So will you please tap on that screen? That's how I know. Awesome. There you go. You guys are so good. I let you know and you're right there. I love that. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let me tell you a quick story, okay? Hey, Sister Gina, how are you? Nice to see you. I was just telling them. I was just telling them that we were off tonight, but that you hopefully, hopefully tomorrow, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much for sharing and inviting your followers. I so appreciate that. Thank you so much. I so, so appreciate that. So let me tell you what I prepared for you today. We got to be on purpose and we have to be on purpose now. Yes, sister. I love you too, darling. I love you too. We have to be on purpose today. Now, right now, right this second, right this second, right this second, right this second. Before I get excited, get your notebook. Hey, if you don't have a notebook, get it. Hey, Sandy. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen you in a while. Nice to see you. Get your notebook and get your pen. Get your notebook and get your pen. Hello, my dear. How are you? Because what I'm going to share for you is going to change your life. What I'm going to share with you, hopefully, is going to be the kick in the pants that you need. Have you ever needed a kick in the pants? Hey, Dallas. Hi, life. How are you? Have you who, who here needs a kick in the pants? Are you feeling down? Are you feeling like, I know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm not feeling it. I'm a little tired. Who here needs a kick in the pants? Who needs some inspiration? Who needs some reminder of why they're doing what they're supposed to be doing? Hey, Vern, how are you, my brother? Nice to see you. Let me know. Just type a one. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Thank you for saying hello. I appreciate you coming in. A six-pack mommy. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, who else, who here needs a kick in the pants? That's the question of the $10,000. Okay, awesome. You being honest, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Hey there, how are you? So good to see you. Okay, thank you, Vern, for inviting your followers. All right, hey, Joy. Excellent. So some of you need a kick in the pants. So maybe the other ones are fine. You're watching on the replay. Maybe you don't need a kick in the pants, but trust me, you will. Trust me, you need it, okay? And I'm going to give it to you. I love giving that. Hey, Nick, how are you? Preachers and Antoinette, hello. Thank you so much for inviting your followers, guys. I so appreciate that. If you just got here, my name is Catherine Storing. I am one of the ladies of the Dream Team, and they're off tonight. But I am here, and I am from Bo I am in Boston, and I am a fashion stylist, a confidence building coach, and woman of faith. And that means that I help women and a few brave men to look good from the inside out so they can do what they have been called to do while looking all kinds of fine. Hey, Lisa from Nebraska. So nice to see you. So lovely to see you. Thank you for being here. Guys, thank you for the hearts. If you just got here, invite your followers, okay? Invite your followers and tap on that screen. And hello from Little Rock. That is awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Joy for life. That is awesome. Hey, Esther. Thank you for being here. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. It sounds like many of you want to know how to walk in your purpose and why. There's a reason why and how, okay? I'm going to give you the reason first and then I'm going to give you the I'm going to give you the why first and then how to do it. Hello Esther, how are you? I'm going to tell you why you should do it and then how. Is that is that sound fair? Are you guys ready? Type 2 if you're ready. Type the number 2. Hey Wolda, how are you? Type number 2 if you're ready. If you have your notebook, remember, you got to have a notebook gotta have a notebook there she is awesome thank you, you guys are ready and you have your notebook i love it okay awesome 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 so let me tell you a quick little story <clears throat> the other day i was watching someone on scope just minding my own business watching i really enjoy uh, watching this person and he is doing what he loves he's an amazing singer like unbelievable the way that i describe it is if michael buble and frank sinatra had a baby this person will be it, like a singing baby. That that's how we. Hey, hello, nice to see you, my sister. Haven't seen you in a while, and that's what it will be—a very, very um, uh, talented young man. Okay, so he's singing. He's saying hello, being really awesome, and um, he's talking about a song. He's thinking about it, and he says something that was really amazing. He says, "I want to write something," and he loves what he does. Um, okay, awesome. Thank you. Please come back. And he really loves what he does and he gets really inspired and he's talking about a song, okay? He's talking about it and I say, but why don't you write about what you love? Why don't you write about it? Write a love story to it, okay? And we started talking about it back and forth and he had tomorrow, he's got to deliver this tomorrow. Hey, hello there, how are you? He has to deliver this song tomorrow because he you know I'm a coach and I give him homework. You have to deliver this song tomorrow. You got it. We we came with the lyrics, he was he was writing it down, he got really inspired, it was beautiful to see, like what he loves to do. 
Can you guys still see me and hear me okay? I don't see those hearts coming. Tap on that screen and let me know. I need to know that you can hear me and see me okay. Because what happens is we start talking and I go on for a while and you guys cannot even see me or hear me, okay? Awesome. There are the hearts. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The thing is that while I was on that scope, I was not shy to be who I am. I am a coach. Thank you, darling. I am a coach. I love helping people. I love encouraging people to be in their thing, in their purpose, in their calling. I get excited. Can you tell that I get excited? Oh, thank you, darling. I get excited when I see people doing what they love, what they're really, really good at. And my friend, he is amazing at what he does. He is so awesome. And he just needed a little encouragement. And he wrote this amazing, beautiful song that is going to be amazing. Okay? It's going to be awesome. He was on here, right on Periscope, doing what he's really good at. And I was watching, enjoying his voice, enjoying his gifting, and together we were doing what we have been called to do. And what happened? He got pushed further and closer to what he wants to do, further and closer to what he was designed to do. It was amazing. I loved it. And I cannot wait for that. I cannot wait to see the results of what he's going to produce. It's going to be fantastic. Why? Because he got excited. He got to see, wow, I got this, Amy. Hello, Jolanda. How are you, my sister? He got to see that someone appreciates his talent. And all he was, he was at the right place at the right time. Can you type that? Right place and the right time. The right place and the right time. That's all you have to do. You have to be at the right place at the right time doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's it. It is that simple. Be at the right place at the right time. Hey, Keisha, how are you? Yes, right place and right time. Hey, Rabbi, how are you? Do what you have been called to do at the right place at the right time. Yes, Yolanda, be at the right place at the right time doing what you are supposed to do. And that was just like a one quick little story. Let me tell you another quick little story. A friend of mine is going through a hard time. She's going through some um, um, health difficulties, something that I actually experienced already, being there, done that, and got the t-shirt. And she was doing it all by herself. You know, have you ever done that? Let me just ask that real quick. Have you ever tried to deal with something really difficult all by yourself? Type three. If you ever have tried to do something all by yourself, your own little self, type number three, if you have ever tried to do that, how easy is it to do it? Isn't it hard? Isn't it like really hard? Thank you for being honest. I appreciate that. Isn't it really hard? But what about when you try, when you let other people help you? Not at all, Stephanie, silly pants. Of course it's hard when you do it all by yourself. Remember that two are better than one. Three are better than two, right? Exactly. Thank you, sister. Exactly. Yes, I know that, darling. I know. So she was having a really hard time. It's very stressful. Yes, it's so stressful. Well, I noticed that she was having a hard time. So I talked to her. I said, what's going on? What? Yes, you have to tell somebody else. What's going on? And she tells me. And I hugged her. And I prayed with her. And I said, silly goose, what are you thinking? I already been there. I already done that. You need to talk to me. I am the perfect person to talk to because I went through that pain already. Not because I'm perfect, but because I already been through that. I know exactly what's happening. You need to talk to me. Not only do I know what you're going through, I love you. I know what you're going through and I love you. And I just want to share this with you. I want to share in your pain. I want to share this with you. What happened? She gave me the opportunity to love on her. Okay. I'm going to say that one more time. By her sharing her pain, she gave me the opportunity and the pleasure to suffer with her. It is a pleasure. It is an opportunity to do what you have been designed to do. How do you feel when you help someone? How do you feel when you do when you are doing exactly what you have been created to do, right? 
It feels amazing. It feels like a million bucks, right? So why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you want to have that feeling every single day? Accomplished, great, yes, all those things. It feels unbelievable. Yet, and this is where your kick in the pants comes, okay? I hope you're ready. Yes, working your purpose. I hope you're ready. This is your kick in the pants. Are you ready for it? Type four if you're ready. If you're re are you ready for the loving kick in the pants that you need? I hope you're ready. Type four if you're ready for the kick in the pants. Okay, you, things like you guys are ready. Awesome, 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 awesome. So why on earth aren't you doing that every single day? Why aren't you being on purpose every single day? Some of you are amazing singers. Some of you are amazing engineers or doctors. You're an amazing cook. Maybe you're an amazing designer. Maybe you can organize a house like nobody's business. Maybe you can uh, start a business because you have an amazing skill. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Don't you want to have that feeling every single day? Nick, thank you so much. Don't you want to feel that every single day? When you do it, what is that feeling? I want you to describe that for me. When you are on purpose, when you're doing exactly what you were designed to do. You know what I say, right? If you're a car, you have to be driven, right? If you're a car, you were created to be driven. So when you do that, when you do that one thing that you were created to do, how does that feel? Tell me the truth. How does that feel when you are on purpose? When you're doing exactly what you were created to do, how do you feel? Just type that. Tell me how do you feel? Yes, you were, you were created on purpose, my sister. Yes, you were. How do you feel when you do it? How do you feel when you're doing exactly what you were created to do? You feel great. What else? You know how I feel when I'm helping someone look better? When I help, important, that's awesome. When I help them see how fearfully and wonderfully made they are, wonderful, awesome. When I, fantastic, I love that. And you feel happy. You smile from ear to ear. When I am styling someone, when I'm coaching someone and letting them know that they are amazing, yes, like a cup of God, exactly, exactly. It is the best feeling in the world. I can coach people from morning till dawn. I can style people from morning till dawn. I can go shopping with someone and help them, help them look amazing every day, every day, every day, every day. When I'm on, when I'm on stage, you guys, some of you have seen me on stage. When I'm on stage and I'm speaking, oh my gosh, take the mic away from me. Take the mic away from me because I love it. Yes, we are going to go shopping, sister. I love doing that. I was created to speak. I was created to do that. So why do you think that I seek every opportunity to be on purpose? Hey, Eva. I seek every opportunity to be on purpose. What are you waiting for? Thank you, darling. Thank you. What are you waiting for? Hello there. What are you waiting for? Why are you procrastinating? Why are you procrastinating? If you love that feeling and you told me that you did, you confess that you love when you're on purpose, when you're doing exactly what you were created to do. You love it. Why aren't you doing it? Just confess right now. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth right now. Why aren't you doing it? I want to know why and let, let's just get to the bottom of this. I want to hear you. I want to hear your excuses. Why aren't you doing it? Shyness. Okay. We'll talk about that. What else? Why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you doing it? Are you afraid? Scared to mess up? Awesome. Are you guys afraid? Who's he, who here is afraid? Afraid of the unknown? Fear paralyzes people to walk in their purpose. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Are you of rejection? Oh my gosh. That's a big one. That is a big one. And let me, let me share, let me answer that right there. Cause that's, that's my favorite one. Rejection. Who else is afraid of rejection? Let me just deal with that for, with you right now. Let me just help you. Can I just help you? Can I just help you? Can I share this with you? You are okay. Awesome. Who else is afraid of rejection? Afraid of success. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's a huge one. That is a huge one. Yes. 
afraid of success. Oh my goodness. Before I give the answer, invite your followers. I don't want to have to repeat this again. Invite your followers right now because I want to tell them, you that's you, Walda, I'm going to help you. I am so going to help you. Invite your followers right now. Being super sick and don't even know what my purpose is right now. Also, I have a spirit of rejection. Okay, awesome. Thank you for sharing. Hey, Misha, how are you? Thank you for sharing, Dory. Thank you. I appreciate that. That is very honest. Thank you, guys. It's, it, it takes guts to to own up to what's going on. So I just want to acknowledge that and say that I appreciate you and that it takes guts. That's the beginning of change. When you accept it, that's the beginning of change. This is how you deal with the first one, rejection. This is how you deal. I hope you're taking notes. This is how you deal with the fear of rejection. First of all, first of all, you cannot be rejected when you have already accepted yourself. Bomb number one. Bomb number one. You cannot be rejected when you have already accepted yourself. Okay? That is bomb number one. If you are living on purpose, if you're doing exactly what you were created to do and you are having an amazing good time and you are changing people's lives and you are accepting your calling, there is nobody that can reject you. It's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. You have to accept yourself first. Trust me. You have to accept yourself first. Every morning, I look in the mirror and I accept all of this. I accept it. I accept whatever I put together. I accept the crazy hair. I accept the color. I accept the mouth. I accept everything, everything, everything. So when I step out, when I step out and some people are very open to tell me that they don't appreciate my look. I grew up with this for 18 years. I heard that every single day. Every single day, Catherine, you're not beautiful. Catherine, you are too loud. Catherine, I don't like your hair. Catherine, I don't like your skinny legs. Catherine, you're too tall. I heard that day in and day out. And it bothered me. Do you know why it bothered me? Because I hadn't accepted myself first. I hadn't. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know that I was fearfully and wonderfully made, that everything about me is on point, that everything about me is A-OK -okay and more. Now, that was then, this is now. That was then, this is now. Now I stepped into the woman that I was created to be and I love me some Catherine. I love me some Catherine. Thank you, my sister. So are you. So are you. That's what I want to give to you tonight. That's what I want to give to you tonight. You are amazing. You have to accept yourself first before anyone else. Before That's right. Before anyone else can accept you, you have to accept this. Because you were created on purpose. You know that? You, if you have been watching me for a while, I talk about this pretty much every single time. You are not an accident. You were created with some amazing gifting. Amazing gifting. Your recipe is chock full of amazing things. Your recipe has things that are unbelievable. And you have to believe that. But you got to believe it first. Before you can sell anything, you got to buy it first. That's number one. Before you can sell it, you gotta buy it first. You gotta believe it in your heart. Believe it in your heart. Yes, you have a unique recipe. Yes, Stephanie. Yeah, can I look at you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And you have to believe it and you just have to accept it. You have to accept it. The other one that I heard was the fear of success. Who said that? Who else has fear of success? Some people said that I am afraid of being successful. Some people said that. Designers original. Yes, we are. Me, me. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for being honest. Thank you for owning that. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, Stephanie. Hey, Kim, how are you? If you are afraid of success, you are forgetting. You are forgetting that your purpose Yes, yes, oh, we all have, yeah, some of us do, of course. I'll talk about that. 
I'll talk about the health issues. Fine, I'm doing awesome. Thank you. I'm doing awesome. Thank you. So we'll, we talked about rejection. Let's talk about success. If you are afraid of being successful, can I tell you what success is? Can I define that for you? Because maybe you don't know. If you are afraid of success, it's because you don't know what it is. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, this is so good. Maybe you don't know what being successful is. Maybe you don't know. And I'm going to tell you. And you're going to want to have it. You're going to say, Catherine, where do I get my success? Catherine, I was not aware of this. Catherine, nobody told me the news. Catherine, I didn't know that that was what it was like to be successful. If I had known that, I would have done it before. If I had known that that is what it's like to be successful, I would have stopped sabotaging myself a very long time ago. If I had known this, Catherine, I would have walked in my purpose a long time ago can I tell you what success is can I please tell you just say yes say Catherine tell me what success is please please Catherine tell me and I'll tell you just ask me and I'll tell you I will tell you what success is okay awesome this is gonna take the fear out of it okay I will tell you it's gonna take the fear out of what you have about success okay okay are you ready are you ready I'm gonna tell you this is gonna this is gonna blow your socks off. This is gonna blow. Hey, you sister Renee. This is gonna blow your socks off. You ready? Okay. Success is nothing less and nothing more than you being you to the max. You don't have to be anybody else. I'll say that one more time because this is so good. This is so good. Success is nothing else and nothing more than you being you to the max, to the max. That's it, that's it. Nothing else, it's nothing weird. Thank you, thank you, Sandy. It's nothing weird. You don't have to be somebody else. You don't have to change. You don't have to be a jerk, okay? You don't have to um, be all like yucky and disgusting, no. When you are successful, you are you in the biggest way that you can possibly be. Because that's what you were created to do. You and me were created to be successful. Did you know that? If nobody has told you that in your life before, can I just tell you that? You were created to be successful. My brother and my sister, I love you, but can I tell you, you were created to be successful can you take that in just take a moment take it in take it in I was created to be successful yes me being me to the fullest yes Renee that's it that's it take it in take it in I was created to be successful I was created to be successful take it in just take that in does that make you feel better does that help with your fear? Does that help with your fear of success when you know that all it is is you being you to the fullest? That's it. Yes, yes, you were, Nick. Yes, oh, that makes me feel good. That makes me feel so good. That makes me feel so good. Yes, thank you, Ravi. That's it. It makes me feel so good. I was created to be successful, and when I am successful, it's just me, me, being me, to the fullest. Okay, that's it. That is it. Oh my goodness. I love that. Right there, we can stop and we are full. My cup is full right there. My cup is full right there. Let me deal with the next issue. Somebody mentioned, what if you have health issues? What if you have health issues? Can you still walk in your purpose? Okay, somebody asked that question and I'm going to answer that for you. Oh, I'm sorry, Stephanie. I'm sorry about that. Glad you're back though. <laughs> hey, Kev, thank you for coming in. Okay, so you have some health issues and maybe you, you don't have only health issues. Maybe you don't have the skills. Maybe you don't have the tools. Maybe you don't have the resources because health issues is you not being able to do what you have been, you know, what you want to do. Yes, Nick, he does heal. Absolutely. And that, that's where I'm going with that. So you have some health issues. You don't have the resources. You don't have the skills. You don't have everything you need, okay? Not yet. 
But can I tell you how you can get it? Can I tell you? Can I, can you get, do you give me permission? Can I share with you how you can get those things that you don't have? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, but you have to say, yes, Catherine, tell me. Catherine, how do I get those things? Catherine, tell me how. What's the secret? Tell me just me, okay? Get it real close. I'm going to tell you just you. Nobody else. I'm just going to tell you, okay? I'm going to tell you right now. Thank you. I'm going to tell you right now. You have not because you ask not. Mind blown. Mind blown. You have, you have not because you ask not. If you don't have health, you have to ask for it. If you don't have the resources, you have to ask for it. If you don't have the know-how, you have to ask for it. Stephanie and I were talking the other day and we were talking about words. When I, and I prayed the other night, I needed some really fancy pants words. What do you think happened? What do you think happened? Do you think I got those words? Do you think I asked? But can I, can I, can I challenge that? You're asking all the time. And can I be honest with you? That's right, Stephanie, he did. Can I just be, can I be vulnerable with you? Do you give me permission? Do you guys give me permission to be vulnerable? Can I be vulnerable with you guys? Okay, I'm going to be vulnerable with you. Thank you. I'm going to be vulnerable right now. I have been asking for something. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to tell you, sister, I'm going to tell you right now because I'm not picking on you, but I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. I have been asking for something for the last 12 years, and every time I didn't get it. I kept asking for the same thing for 12 years and I did not get it until now. Can I say glory to Jesus? I did not get it until now. I've been asking for 12 years and I did not get it until now. Can I tell you how? Can I tell you what happened? Can I tell you what finally happened? What actually was the difference? What, why, why now and not then? Why now and not then? I'm going to tell you why. If you keep doing something the same way and you don't get it, you got to change it, right? Because if you keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result, that is the definition of insanity. I'll say that one more time. If you keep asking for something the same way and you don't get it, if you want something and you're not getting that result, Maybe you have to change it because otherwise that is the definition of insanity. Wanting something, not getting it, and still insisting on that way. That's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. I was not asking the right way. I kept doing the same thing and I kept getting the same wrong result. I kept getting the same wrong result sister i was asking for the right thing i was asking the wrong way i had the wrong attitude i was not doing what i was supposed to be doing but this year but this year but this year i got smart this year i got mature enough and i realize and i realize Awesome, sister. Watch the replay. So lovely to see you here. It was a pleasure. God is good indeed. But this year, I said, if I keep asking for this every year and I don't get it, and I keep doing the same thing, maybe, maybe, just maybe, maybe I got to change it up. Maybe I got to ask in a different way. Maybe I got to get serious about it. Maybe, just maybe, I got to change this up. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe. So you know what I did? I did change it up. I did get serious about it. I did ask with the right mind, with the right attitude, with the right understanding of what I was asking. And I got serious about it. And I changed how I was asking. I changed how I was asking. And I got my answer. Thank you, Jesus. And I got my answer. What happened when the disciples couldn't um, take out a, um, a demon from a person? What happened? And the disciple says, but 
Jesus, we pray and it, it didn't happen. The 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 um the demon didn't didn't leave the boy. What what did we do wrong? And what what did Jesus say? That kind only comes out with prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting. Okay, my sister? Prayer and fasting. Do you know what I did? My sister, did you know what I did? I pray and I fast. I pray and I fasted. I fasted my little pants off. I fasted and I got close to God and I said, I want this and I'm not leaving until you give it to me. I am not leaving until you give it. Hey, Sherry, how are you? What did, what did Jacob said? I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. And he fought the angel of the Lord, which was Jesus back then. And he fought it and he fought it until he got it. He said, are you going to bless me or you're going to bless me? So sometimes you got to get serious. Sometimes you got to get mad. It's okay to get mad and say, I want this. You told me that I could have it. You said that I could have it and I want it and I'm not taking no for an answer. I am not taking no for an answer. How many times have you gotten no and you have said, yeah, okay, okay. That's okay. If you need something, if you need it, you no is not an option. No is not an option. Do you understand? Yeah, double the blessing. That's why he got double the blessing. No is not an answer. Do you really want it? How badly do you want it? How badly do you want it? You got you gotta press on. You got you gotta say, I'm not taking no for an answer. I'm changing my attitude. I'm pressing on to you. I'm getting closer to you. And I'm asking you with the right heart. I'm asking you with the right heart. And I'm saying, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. You're going to bless me or you're going to bless me. And he's going to listen because he knows you're serious. He's going to answer that prayer because he knows finally your heart is in the right place. Your heart is in the right place. Yes, continue to stand on your promise. It is a promise. You got to stand on that promise. You have to stand on that promise and you got to hold on to it and don't let it go. You got to get serious about it. The thing is that many times we're not serious. Let's be honest right now. Many times we're not serious. We're like, uh, I kind of want it. I kind of want it. Let's just be honest right now. I kind of want it. Mm, maybe today, maybe not tomorrow. If I have to do anything, I don't want to do it. Really? And you think God's going to give it to you if you don't really want it? That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. This is not for, for, the, for, for, for the faint of heart. This is not just for anybody. This is not just for anybody. The thing that you're asking for requires your commitment. It requires your commitment. Yeah, real faith, open up for the blessings. Amen. Amen. This is what I have here. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? Oh, amen. I'm glad you do. Do you believe this? You have to believe this. You cannot just say it. People say this all the time. People say this all the time. It has become a cliche. It has become a cliche. But this is real. This is, yes, amen. Amen. This is real. This actually happens. We don't see it anymore because we don't really believe it. Faith is not just another word. Faith is not just something pretty that you throw around. Faith is a serious business. Serious business. It's life and death business. Life and death. And my question to you is... Are you believing like it's life and death? Be honest right now. For what you're asking. I gotta walk it out. I gotta walk it out. Let me ask you right now. Are you believing this? Like it's life and death. Life and death. If I don't get this, I die. If I don't get this, my purpose dies. You don't want to die with your purpose inside of you. You don't want to do that. You want to live it. You want to live. What are you asking for? Are you asking for a husband? Are you really asking? 
Are you asking for a house? Are you really asking? Are you asking for a new job? Are you really asking? Are you asking God to bless your business? Are you really asking? What are you, are you asking for health? What are you really asking? Face in action and show how you carry yourself while it's being, amen, life or death, amen, amen. What are you asking for? What are you, faith without action is dead indeed, indeed. Oh my goodness, don't I know it? Don't I know it? And I'm learning that. And I'm, I'm embarking on something huge. And you know what I'm doing? I am walking out my faith. I am walking out my faith. And it doesn't have to be perfect either. That's, that's the beauty of it. Do you realize that? That it doesn't have to be perfect either? I can say, please help me help my own belief. It's coming in two and rejoice. Amen. Yes. I am already celebrating. I am already celebrating. Are you celebrating? Learning more helped me realize how important faith is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You got to celebrate. Can you celebrate already? Reading more. Amen. Can you celebrate already and say, my blessing is already here? Can you say that? Tap on that screen so I know you can hear me and see me. I need to know that I'm not here by myself. I need to that you're very welcome. I need to know that you're not that you're listening and that you can celebrate. Yes, cheers already. Amen. Yes, can you celebrate that your husband is already here? That your wife is already here? That your house is already here? That your that your health is already here? That your business is successful already? That your children are walking with the Lord? Can you just say that and say, yes, it's already here. It's already here. Oh, it is good. I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating and I'm celebrating. You got to celebrate that. You have to. Why not? It is here already. Yes, it is. It is here already. Can you just be thankful? Yes, your wife is here. Yes, your husband. Yes, he's here. Can you just act like they're here? Can you be grateful and say thank you? Yes, Sherry, it is here. It is here. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, it is here. Yes, you're going to be thankful and grateful. It's already here. Yes, yes. Just say it. Just do simple words. I'm grateful. Yes, they are walking with the Lord. Amen. Yes, faith is what you cannot believe in and what you cannot see. Yes, it is. Faith is believing on what you cannot see. But who is your faith in? Thank you, Lord. Who is your faith in? That's, let me ask you this right now. Is your faith in your strength? Is your faith in what you can do? Is your faith on what you can see? Is your faith on your bank account? Is your faith on what somebody else promised to you? Your faith has to be in the one person. In the one person that has never lied to you. The one person that says, Ask me in the name of Jesus and I will do it. Oh my goodness, that is good right there. He said, ask me in the name of my son and I will do it. Remember, we have not because we ask not. You have to, yes, a man or God. Remember, he said, whatever you ask in the name of my son, I will give it to you. Are you asking? I'm just getting goosebumps right here. Are you asking in the name of Jesus Christ? Are you asking in the name of Jesus Christ? That's the question right now. When you're praying, when you're crying in front of the Lord, I, yes, you gotta use that power. Yes, Aura, you have to use that power. Many of you are letting that power just sit there on use. Why are you doing that? You have a power source and you have no power. Oh my goodness, because I'm getting mad already. You have a power source and you're out of power. Why? 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 Oh, why? Why are you out of power when you have the power source? Why will you be out of power? It blows my mind. It blows my mind. It's happened to me. Don't please know that I'm putting myself right on the on the first on the first in line. But not anymore. Not anymore. I am full of power. My cup is full. I am full of power. I am so full of power. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. Oh my goodness gracious. God is good. 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 
Oh, so faith is the power. It's the faith in him. It's the faith in him. Okay? It's the faith in him. That's how you walk in purpose. Yes, got to be so full of power. So full of power. Yes, yes, yes. He gave us uh he gave us the power. He gave us to say let them rule. Let them rule. Yes. How do you feel? How do you feel when you let that wash over you? How do you feel? How do you feel when you let that wash over you? How do you feel? Doesn't it feel amazing? Doesn't it feel ah oh, Yes, the enemy cannot touch you. The enemy cannot touch you. Oh my goodness gracious, it feels amazing. Doesn't it? It feels amazing, doesn't it? It feels amazing. God is good. God is good. God is sure is good. Oh my goodness gracious. I hope that your cup is full. Yes, peace. Yes, peace that surpasses all understanding. I hope your cup is full. Mine is. I know mine is. I'm feeling all kinds of good right here. I'm feeling all kinds of good right here because my faith is deposited in the one and only and the one and only that can do all things all things amen sister amen yes it, yes my sunday is here i'm celebrating aura my sunday is here it's not coming it's here it's here can you say that with me it's here it's already here it's already here. I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating. My Sunday is already here. And so it's yours. You just got to take it. You got, It's right now. It's right now. You got to take it. Celebrate. Celebrate. I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating like nobody's business. I'm celebrating because my Sunday is here. And what I want to do is share with you. Thank you, my sister. Thank you so much. I so appreciate that. It is here now. Walk in your purpose. Whatever you do today, walk in your purpose. Please, 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 please walk in your purpose. Today is my day. Today is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen, sister. So glad that you were here. I love you. I love you. Thank you for being here. Guys, I'm going to leave you with these words. Watch this replay if you have to until it enters your heart and you finally understand that you have to have faith. Yes, that's right. Today is now. Love you too. You have to have faith that moves mountains. Remember, if you're out of power, you have to connect to the source. If you're out of power, it's because you're not connected to the source. Oh my goodness. If you are out of power, it's because you're not connected to the source. That's that's the answer. That's all I can give you. You want power? Connect to the source. Do you want power? Connect to the source. That's it. If you hear anything else, if you want power, connect to the source, which is Jesus Christ. Yes, study the promises and believe them. Believe those promises. They are true every day. They are true and new every single day. Every single day. They are true and new. How awesome is that? Amazing, right? Be blessed. God is not a man that he shall lie. That's right, that's right sister. He's not a man that he shall lie. And the source is Jesus. The source is God. Of course, there's no, there's no, there's no other way about it. There's no other way about it. My cup is full. I don't know about you all. I don't know about you all, but my cup is full. <laughs> I feel amazing. I feel so blessed. Yes. Yes. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for the hearts. That so much joy. Ah, This is what it feels like to be on purpose. Do you know that? This right, now, this right here is what it feels like to be on purpose. This is what I was created to do. In my recipe, when God put my recipe together, this was part of it. And he gave me this feeling. He said, Catherine, my darling, my dear, my love, when you do what I called you to do, you're going to have peace that surpasses all understanding. My darling, when you do what I called you to do, when you are obedient, 
you're gonna have joy that the world cannot understand. <laughs> God is so awesome. God is so awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm so on purpose. I'm on purpose. I want this for you. I want this for you. I want this for you. You can do this. Just be on purpose. Just be on purpose and watch what he does. Be on purpose and watch what he does. I leave you with the love with the Lord with the with the, with the love of the Lord in hope that you that you plug yourself to the source. Plug yourself to the source and see what happens. See what happens. Have an amazing evening. I will see you tomorrow. But remember, if you don't have any power, it's because you're not plugged into the source. Okay? I love you guys. Have an amazing night. Bye.